Thanks a lot, man. Nice Thank to meet you, man. you, dude. Take care, man. Take care, man. Yo. Thank you, man. See you soon, man. Let's go pick up the album. CD. CD. Yes. This is a new mall that just opened up, brand new store. Today they had the two Chinese Olympic divers came to the store, so um, Jin's basically right up there with them. So you see the guy, he's just got this spark about him. When he meets people, he touches people. People are really proud of him, people that like hip hop, people that don't like hip hop, but people that are just, I mean, they really respect what he's done, and I think he means so much to all of us, and we're so proud of him. It's a lot of good things happening today, man. I think his album came out last week out here in Hong Kong, so it's a lot of press going on with him right now. So we just out here for like a day, just getting as much press as possible. This is Jin representing the USA. Now you can catch me freestyling live in HK with my man Cyrus on TVB. A real MC and hip hop is what I be. You understand now? I'm still going strong. Shout out to Cyrus, TVB in Hong Kong. Yeah. 淨是憑著一句啦,記住落埋我樣落去喎,如果唔係落埋。即係可唔可以加人工嚟靠曬呢一段嘢？就係呢一段啊。好,今次咧難得咧就有機會啦,可以同我專做訪問啦,希望有機
I wrote my first rap in Chinese. Can I share it with y'all? It's real short, but listen close, all right? It's me and this guy from Japan, all right? Ready? Listen close, this shit is crazy. Acapella, no beat. Y'all ready? Check it. Yo. Lele say, set, don't go to the bush, you have pet, or they guys of low leg, they two guys of low leg, low suck on, or some high boom, don't make it with my son, that I won't make it go down my mom, don't be hot sun, one and one okay, see him on the one, my duck okay, Lea say, I'm saying, see it for a white, so ha ha, so I don't know, don't get so, don't hit out the bar, how, yet the girl to learn just so. I wish I had more time in Hong Kong, because, uh, I don't know, I like Hong Kong. We were only there for a day, so I definitely felt gypped on that one. You at my welcome at night, man, by letting you in. Long as you listen to me. He's like, you're a grown ass man, why are you crawling? <laughs> You got five minutes. This terminal is like a never-ending terminal. Five people, right? Yeah. No, I can take. How many can you take? Three. We're gonna miss our flight. <laughs> Got here the same time we did. American-born Chinese, yeah. Uh, that's pretty much uh, uh, Asian-American. We come back here, and then we're outcasts. And uh, so we're not really like the other people that are here that are termed locals. A lot of times, uh, ABCs out, out in Asia get uh, stereotyped as pretty much very loud, um, very rude. Um, what else is there? Just cocky, cocky, yeah, cocky. 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 Yeah. I was born in Taiwan. She's a local. Yeah. And then my family immigrated to the States when I was young. Admit it, admit it. Yep, I'm a fob. She's a fob. <laughs> She's a burn boater. <laughs> when, we were, when we actually had a meeting with uh, uh, Jin's label out here in Taiwan, um, basically, you know, they, they said something to the extent of, oh, well, you know, his, his performance is definitely going to be really big in Singapore and uh, Hong Kong. I think, you know, the reasoning that they were thinking that is because, you know, there's a bigger Cantonese-speaking population in those two areas. And so they were, they, were, they were thinking, like, you know, because this is more of a Mandarin-speaking place, like, you know, he might not get as good a reception or whatnot. Thank you, man. So surprised, so surprised, Jin is coming here. Oh man, so surprised, Dad. So cool, man. I'm, I'm going to miss the Chinese. Okay, so cool. Oh, like how Jin can Jin the 表演就在轮 eighty. 他是第一名的华人之光，他非常厉害。所以我们来到这个 club 就是看他表演华人之光耶耶。Oh, it's like the hip hop culture is growing up. It's uh, keep going now. Yeah. Yeah, and we have Taiwanese hip hop. Yeah. How do you how do you learn about hip hop and what's going on with hip hop? Mm, I don't know. Just oh, maybe in when I'm during junior high school, I saw a lot of hip hop music videos on MTV channel, and I, I love it. Yeah, cause hip hop. I think hip hop can uh, show everyone's feeling in lives. Yeah. That's what I think. People are going to start filing in around this time, right? Yeah. Around 10? Yeah. And he doesn't like to be at the club when okay. the people are filing in. Okay. So if we can come back over here, 
we could do it down here or whatever, or up, I mean, wherever. It's a nice hotel. They actually Even if they want to follow. I gave this track last I don't know. So from, from Future and on, which is from MTV and on. MTV and on. MTV and on. The reason why is Corona doesn't want filming to happen while the club's getting filled, you know, where people are coming into the club. It'll kind of take away from this whole... Yeah. Very tough. It's already packed. It's already packed already? Yeah. Yeah. Let me say what's up to me. Yeah, hey, what's up, man? You coming inside? Huh? You going inside? Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, wait. Take a picture, okay? I see you inside. You got camera going? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. Don't turn it down, okay? Come on, come on, man. These are fly zombies. On the count of three, say zombie. One, two, three. Zombies. Taiwan was pretty crazy, I remember. And they, I don't know, they were just extra live in there, it was extra packed in there. Hey, yo, Taiwan, make some fucking noise, yo! Hold up, hold up. I want everybody in the back to listen close. Check it out. One more time, okay, let's go. Put your middle fingers up, Taiwan, let's go! They were just hanging on to everything I was saying, responding very well, reacting to the songs. They were just genuinely excited. Everybody else was, but they seemed to be there. I think because it was such a small place and there were so many people in there. Where the fuck are all the Chinese people at? The more I, that I see um, the impact of learn Chinese, the more I like it. Like I hear a lot of times, like especially in the USA, like the people that write, like the writers from different magazines, they're like, yeah, learn Chinese is okay, but it's kind of a gimmick. You know, like we know he's Chinese already. Why does he have to do a song called Learn Chinese, this and that? So I get a lot of people that like kind of look at me different for doing it, but I mean, my, my purpose when I recorded the song was to just represent like for who I am and I'm Chinese. So that's what hip hop is about anyways. And people that really understand hip hop know that that's the foundation. Like um, everybody of Y Clef is always very proud that he's Haitian. Um, Fat Joe, always talking about being Puerto Rican, but nobody ever says to them, stop it, stop saying you're Puerto Rican, stop saying Haitian. But here comes Jin, I'll do one song called Learn Chinese, and everybody's like, ah, oh, learn Chinese. We know you're Chinese, get that out of here. But, you know, at the end, you know, at the end of the day, like, I never regret recording that song, and when I do it, and I see how powerful it is, not only for Asians, like of course if I do it in China, and I do it for like 600 Chinese people, it's crazy too. But like even when I do it back home, like in the US, and I see like white people, or blacks, Spanish, and they're all saying learn Chinese, then that to me is like, that's what 
hip hop is about that. Mm-hmm. I'm hip hop, B. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I come from fucking the shit. The zombie land. The zombie, the zombie land. land. I come from the shit, yo. I want to hear some fire. You know what I'm saying? Last time I seen Jim, he was on fucking 106 and Park, slaying MCs. So when I cop his album, I expect MCs to be getting slayed all over his album. And it's going to excite me. And I know a lot of people expect that. But then when you go into the record labels, you know, they want this, they want that, they want this, they want that. And then it makes my job as his manager harder, man. I'm not blaming Jim, you know what I'm saying? Because we're all developing. The object is to develop Jim. Yeah. And if you're an A&R, lead him in the right direction. Or if you're a manager, of course, lead him in the right direction and shit. Until he's able to walk on his own. Like, right now, he knows exactly what he wants. Yeah. You know, feel me? So, like, the next joint, the next project from Jim, mm-hmm. I don't give a fuck where it's at. 